Buongiorno ragazzi e benvenuti a Valentino's Ristorante Sardegna. So once again guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to make our classic salmon ravioli. It's a very popular dish in the restaurant and we do sell a hell of a lot of this ravioli. There's a lot of different recipes but the way we make it is what I'm going to show you today. Well, to start with let me show you the ingredients as usual. Right here we have a salmon fillet. Quite contradictory, not a lot of people use salmon fillet but it gives it a nice meaty taste into the filling as well. Then we actually combine it with smoked salmon which is the traditional kind of salmon ravioli recipe which people would do. So I actually mix the two. I cook off the salmon and then I combine it with smoked salmon afterwards. Then the filling actually gets mixed with some Italian ricotta cheese. For the actual dough this time we're actually doing a combination of the semola flour which is what we use in the other two videos for the malloredus and the culugianis and we mix it with double zero flour and then that goes in with a little bit of water. Now just to give it a little vibrant colour effect what I actually mix into the dough is a small bit of tomato puree and it gives it this nice kind of pinky orange kind of colour which in my opinion just uh, enhances the feel that it's a nice salmon fish ravioli. Moving on to the sauce afterwards, a couple of different flavours which really complements that ravioli, that salmon, that filling inside which is nice and light, it's not too rich or heavy. There's a bit of fresh garlic in there, not too much because garlic is strong. Italian peeled tomatoes, we're keeping them whole. A bit of courgettes, we're going to cut out the middle so we get rid of that sponginess and then we also put a touch of cream in there as well parsley and we got some lovely peeled king prawns already steamed and that goes into the sauce at the end and we bring it all together and create the dish. Let's get on to the pasta dough. Okay, so to create that pinky orange effect into the dough what I'm going to do is mix this tomato puree into a little bit of water and with a fork I'm just going to mix it like this and it creates this nice ready coloured water and that is what's going to be combined into the dough. So then as the colour expands into the dough it becomes nice and light and it's not, it's, not, it's not a deep red. In goes the flour. That's the semola. And then in goes double zero. Into our machine. Put in a bit of salt and as always just to season the dough. Just mix that flour together a little bit first. And then a bit at a time we add in our water. Again, you don't want to move too fast when adding in the water because the flour can look like it's, it's not combined enough and then all of a sudden bam, it snaps and it comes together and it's too wet so then you end up having to add more flour. Let the dough come together bit by bit and then we can start kneading it by hand and we can see where we're at. So as that's forming together now, put a little bit of olive oil to get some fat in there to help with the elasticity. Add another bit of water. And then carry on doing this thing. You can actually see how the dough ball is coming together, mopping up all the dough that's sticking to the bowl. All I'm going to do now is actually take that out. I'm going to have a look at it by hand. Knead. Wrap that up and stop the air getting into it. So what adding in the double zero flour does, it gives you that al dente feel to the dough as well, which is nice. But by combining it with the semola flour, the double zero doesn't give it too much of a bite to the dough. It softens it up a little bit and also helps with the elasticity because it's a finer flour. And it's a bit easier to work with when you're trying to extend out the spoiler to pass the sheets. We're going to let that rest for half an hour. Now I'm going to go on with the filling cooking off the salmon. I've actually taken off the skin from the salmon because I'm actually going to chop this into pieces. This is going to go into the pan. And while I'm here for afterwards with the filling, we're going to chop this nice and fine. So the whole point of mixing these two as well, and I find when you've got a, a salmon ravioli with just smoked salmon and ricotta, it's quite overpowering, the smoked salmon. So I like to just dumb that smokeness down with a nice fillet of salmon. On the fire, pan. Let that heat up a little bit, we're going to get some oil into the pan. In goes our onion. So we just sweat that off a little bit. And then in goes the salmon. Just before they start caramelizing brown. In goes our salmon. This doesn't take long either. Salmon cooks very fast. Do you touch of salt. 
some black pepper. Just gonna deglaze that lightly with a bit of white wine. Burn off the alcohol, absorb the flavor. And that's the first part of our filling. What I'm actually gonna do, is put it and let it rest into a sieve. What actually happens there, as I got this flavored salmon, when it comes to making the sauce, I almost have like a little salmon stock, which flavors the sauce amazingly. Once you've drained your salmon a little bit, look at that beautiful oil that's come out of it. That is what we're gonna be able to cook with. And then all we do is get this into a bowl now. And I'm just making enough for about two people, two to three people. Yeah, then in goes our smoked salmon. Just give that a little mix together. And then all we do is break in our ricotta. Mix that together. There's no better tool than our hands. Just to give it an extra touch, I'm gonna put another touch of black pepper in there. Taste for salt. And then I'm actually gonna mix in a little bit of fresh thyme. You get your massive black pepper. Another bit of pepper. I'm literally just gonna get the leaves from the thyme. It just freshens up the palate, gives another little hit some incredible flavor give that another little mix and then we're just going to leave this on the side once that's leaving on the side again the flavors they just carry on infusing all together and then that is ready for our pasta dough now you can see the color of this dough now the orangey pink that it has to it it's not a yellowy white color now which again complements the salmon lovely so what we're going to do is take off half Wrap the other bit in the cling film. Stop it from drying out, keep it on the side. So we're gonna flatten this. Pass it through the first setting. Love. Fold it over like a letter. flour it so it doesn't stick and then we pass through the first setting again we adjust one at a time For the ravioli, you actually want them to be quite thin, so it's a lot thinner than the actual Kulujones, the Sardinian style ravioli, because we're doubling them up, one layer on top of the other. So you're kind of doubling up thickness at that point, when it comes to actually closing them and putting the pasta sheet on top of each other. So it needs to be quite thin. So if you were to shine a light on it, you can see a silhouette of my hand. That's all we know, we're at the right thickness for the ravioli. This is where we put in our filling. Get the filling into a little sack posh. Turn that inside out a little bit. We get that filling in. There's not really any elegant way of getting in filling into a piping bag. You just get it in. Best way you can. Turn it. What we're gonna do now? Cut off there. Let's mark halfway. And then we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Little jug of water, pastry brush. The shape of the ravioli that I want to make, I have to get a rolly, ravioli stamp and it's round. So, I just want to go around the ravioli with the filling. Make a nice circle motion. There we are. 
lay on top, as I lay on top, just flatten the filling down. There, now what I've also done, make sure you leave little gaps like this of air. So what I can actually do now is flatten and press. I want to press around and really push out the air from each ravioli because otherwise what's going to happen is when you're cooking the ravioli they are just going to burst. Where I got to double layer up the pasta obviously it's going to be quite thick so pushing out the air and I'm pressing the dough down one more time round Just not stuck. A little flour on the top, and we get out the shape of the ravioli. One, two, three, four, six. Okay, so we take away this dough, and again, you can actually reuse this dough. It's still got a nice consistency to it. Just knead it a little bit in your hands, put it together, and again, put it under something or in a bit of cling film, so it doesn't dry out anymore leave that on the side then what I do with these ravioli I just want to reinforce the edges and I pinch around the edge so again I'm squashing the the pasta dough down so it's nice and thin so it doesn't remain too hard when you're cooking and it softens nicely in the water just like that and it actually kind of makes the shape of like a, it's called a girasole. It's like a shape of a sun. It's a very elegant filling. So therefore I want a nice elegant shape rather than your standard square shaped ravioli. A perfect portion of ravioli al salmone. Then we make one more batch and then we get on to cooking the sauce. Cut a chunk out of the zucchine, the courgette. You cut it in half, cut it in half again. Cut all the center, cut little slices like this. That'll be enough. And we also want to chop the garlic. Fine dice. And to prepare as well, we can chop our parsley. Just fine chop it. Go through it twice. On the fire. Turn the fire up. This oil that we got and extracted from the salmon. Add in the garlic. Bring that up to temperature. As soon as the garlic starts going, we add in the courgettes. Salt. Pepper. A touch of white wine goes in. Reduce it down. Then when the alcohol burns off, it starts to create this nice little blaze. You can see courgettes as well they start softening and then they just absorb in the flavor the oil from the salmon the garlic just add in one or two of these amazing peeled tomatoes here maybe a third just break that up in the pan the reason why we're breaking the tomato up in the pan because in that tomato then the minute you break it open it releases all the flavor from the tomato into the pan we start reducing it, cooking away the acidity in the tomato as well. Give it a bit of a creamier texture now. Double cream. And it gives it this stunning pink color. We let that reduce down slightly. Then we cook the ravioli, we cook the pasta. Then from the starchy water, we just take a tablespoon, we put it into the sauce, combine it all together. And that is magic on a plate. Always salt your water when you're cooking pasta. We're going in with each ravioli. These literally only take four or five minutes. It's fresh pasta, cooks very fast. Just give them a little move at the bottom, just so they don't stick together. This is about a minute out, so all I want to do is take a little bit of that water into the sauce. Get it in there. Go with our prawns. We're also going in with our parsley. One more tablespoon. In that starchy water. 
Start to take the ravioli out of the water and into the sauce. And we let them mix and come together. Just make sure it doesn't stick, keep it moving. Then we finish it for another minute there. Now this is all thickening up, it's coming together. The starch is bringing the pasta. Now we start plating up. So that's how we make our very popular ravioli al salmone. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Ci vediamo nel prossimo video.